Hey, 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 hey. Happy Easter to everyone. Happy Easter. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and support the channel. Uh, get your girl to that a thousand. I'm, I'm close to that a thousand. So, y'all can get me to the, you know, this weekend. Hit that subscribe button. But, um, let me say this disclaimer before I start. So, I'm just recently catching up on the Tay and Lou situation. Um, I really didn't watch that channel that much. Just to keep it real with you. But I had something, my, you know, give my take and my feedback on the latest video that she put out of the receipts of, um, you know, the alleged allegations of, you know, um, DV and all that good stuff and them breaking up and all that good stuff. Okay, but let's get into it. So, from what I gather from watching a couple of videos and putting it all together is that um, Lou... Uh, cre uh, created or uh, took over the channel. I don't know if she created. She created her own channel, and Tay don't. It seemed like to me that Tay acting like she don't have a channel anymore. I don't know. I'm trying to. I was trying to find Tay. Um, I don't know the name of it. I was trying to find Tay channel, but I don't know if it's the um, the channel that Lou on or what. I don't know. Like I said, this is the my first time talking about them, okay, and catching up on everything, but I'm just going to give my little take on what I've seen so far. Um, so it seems to me that, um, that Lou was tired. Lou was tired, okay, um, from the video. She's tired of taking care of things financially. She's tired of being the burden of everything. She's tired of the for forking, over the, forking over the rent and taking care of all the bills while she alleged that Tay sit on, sits on her behind and does nothing, doesn't ask her do she need any help. And Tay wants to keep on creating um, the YouTube videos with Lou for the money, basically, because she acting like she can't do nothing else with her life. She acting like she can't make her own channel. She acting like she can't create nothing else, I guess, without Lou, I guess. And Lou, like, um... She most, you know, she's tired of it. She's tired of you not doing it. She's not tired of you not taking the initiative. And she's tired of the whole situation. And she can't take any more of it. Um, we, I did hear Tay saying that what you, you expect me to, oh, excuse me, Bert, excuse me, excuse me. What do you feel? Um, what do, you know, what can I do? What, how would I make it or whatever like that? And what should I do? I don't know where to go from here. What you, I mean, I know it's, it's, you know, the situation is hard. Everybody go through the ups and downs, but you can still make it. It's just like a person that's depending on one person for everything and is mentally draining. Then they say that she's a narcissist and stuff like that. But I think both on both ends, there's no self-control. They don't both of them don't have any kind of self-control. Um, So they just go crazy on each other. And when you go crazy on somebody and y'all don't have any kind of self-control on no part and you antagonize the person and you hitting below the belt and you saying mean things that you know that will get a person all riled up, then it's if y'all both are toxic, y'all both have a part to play in it. Yes, I feel like this probably was built up for a long time and people get tired. So I guess Tay was most want to act like the woman in the relationship, but she looked like the man in the relationship, I believe. Now, don't get me wrong. I look like, you know, dressed like a dude or stud in a relationship. But it seemed like Lou was doing everything and taking care of most of the stuff. But she's like, you just lay in the bed. You don't ask me what I need help with. You don't want to help with the rent. You don't want to do this and do that. But now since, I guess, Lou and... Some people are saying, it's, it's like kind of mixed. Some people are saying that Lou took the channel from her and made it her own. But I really don't know if she took the channel from her or made it her own or what. But it seems to me that something has took place. Y'all let me know y'all feel me in. Because I'm just not following in the story. It's crazy. It's unfortunate that it's playing out on the YouTube streets. But they say Tay brought it to the YouTube streets for content and for money gain, I guess. But the whole situation is said, unfortunately. Um, but I feel as though, yeah, the best of them go their separate ways. They have no self-control. And you can't up there, both of them don't got part to play in this stuff. Both of them got a part to play to me. I'm not taking no sides. They both got a part to play in it because they both don't have self-control. And when you don't have self-control, yeah, you allow it to flip out on anybody. And then it ain't no good. It's not healthy. 
it all. So they might get time for them to go their separate ways. But it seemed like to me that Tay trying to hold on because she want to continue to create YouTube money with her. But the relationship and stuff like that is a dead end and it's toxic. So what's the point? Just why just want to let Lou um, do her thing on her channel and you do your thing on your channel. But it seemed like to me that people are saying that Lou took the channel. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Because I know it's like, yeah, so I don't know where Tay channel is. I tried to find it. I don't know if Lou uh, changed the name of the channel that, that they had together and put just her name. Because I did find that channel, like seven videos on there. But I did not find Tay channel. So I don't know if there was a day, both of their channels together and Lou just took it over or what has happened. But y'all feel me in. Y'all let me know. I'm put a couple of comments here of what the people are saying. And, um,. Yeah, this is my first time talking about this, so bear with me from but this is just my observing from what I seen with the receipt video in the other video um of her talking about everything. Um but yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel, let me know what y'all think. But this is my first time talking about them, okay? So yeah, I might be a little bit um not in the mix of everything that's happened, but I do that some of the stuff has happened that is, you know, just really unfortunate and it's really sad that all of this is playing out on the internet. Um, yeah, wish them the best, but they don't need to be together. They need to go their separate ways. That's my take on it, okay? Um, and yeah, and they need to, you know, do, you know, make our own channel and get our own money up. I mean, you don't just put all your financials in one place. You don't just uh, I put all your eggs in one basket. If you're in a relationship with somebody, you still need to have your own and do your own thing. Cause you never know what may happen. That's just my take on it. And um, see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.